Well, hello, folks. It's Steve, and we're out here at uh, Tia Maria again. Actually, came to check on our build. Um, it's a Monday out here, and they did a partial. Actually, the the president of the Philippines here, um, President Duterte, actually uh, released uh, some information yesterday, um, and they said that they they were kind of lightening up the uh, quarantine on it, but uh, they only did it about uh, around the NCR, National Capital Region, and uh, we're still in. Uh, and locked down out here in, in uh, Lipa City, but uh, they did uh, loosen the restrictions, like I said, in some of the outlying uh, uh, cities uh, close to Manila. But unfortunately, we were waiting for the roofers to show up today and the paint guys to show up today, and I don't think they're gonna make it, so we're gonna go check it out, um, see what's going on on the build. Um, but I'm disappointed uh, they didn't show up to today, at least not as of noon now, so I don't think it's gonna happen, maybe tomorrow. But uh, let's do a weather check first. Getting some light sprinkles. You can see they got uh, the weather, it's cool. I, lo I love days like today, but uh, it looks like it's cloudy and I felt a couple of light drops, but I don't think that's gonna have a big impact at all today. So we're gonna head on over to the building and see what's going on. So why don't you follow along and uh, we'll check it out together. It's, uh, they just rang the lunch bell out here for uh, Tia, Maria and the, Tia Maria and uh, the guys are taking their break right now. And I was pan over here and look, uh, look at my neighbor's uh, house and you can see uh, the progress that he's got going on there. Right now the main focus on his stuff is the small touch-up work and he's actually working on that back retainer. They've got two, he's got a step down, he's got a back wall and then a, another wall in front because he's on his house backs up to a, a pretty steep incline. So they had to put two step down uh, retainer walls to, to level out that area in the back to get it where, where he wants it at anyway. So we're hoping that he's gonna get moved in at the end of the month, get his permit and everything will be good to go. Take a quick scan around and see what's going on. The guys that are finishing the walls are also in the region that was uh, locked down, so we're hoping to get them to finish finish this top section, the design on it. But from the front of the house, right away, I can see that the the welding for the canopy is uh, is already going on. And uh, as soon as the canopy goes on for the uh, this area here that covers the garage, we've got the roof guys also have. The, the structure for the small roof that we've got over here that's got to be laid as well and they're just just um, working on that section over there they've got it almost done right now it just needs the actual roof material put on it and then the, some of the trim sections need to be put on for the fascia board so they can lay that in there we were down at Wilcon yesterday and had a brownout down there. It seems like there's a lot of brownouts here lately. And we're looking at the cladding for the top section and the, also the, the front section of our uh, of the house right here. And didn't realize how expensive that material is. Um, to do what we want to do, it's going to cost, uh, cost more than we had budgeted for it. So I might have to look at a different uh, alternative for it uh, to stay within my budget. But uh, I was, uh, they have natural stone, synthetic stone. Surprised at all the different, uh, different types of choices that you have available besides tile and just paint if you want to go with that. Out here in the Philippines anyway. We can check on the tiling to see where they're at uh, upstairs because I know they had uh, already sidered the, the floors. You can see here that the that the guys are uh, still working on the shower area. There's not much going on here since uh, since last time I looked at it. And here's an inside look at that uh, roof structure. And this will be a little office uh, slash uh, guest room here um, for for us for 
for most of the schoolwork for the kids that are that are having to go, we got uh, got one of my boys that's uh, having to study online here because they've got the uh, no public schools or I should say no typical traditional schools where they have the classroom style are going on in the Philippines that I'm aware of. So this might be a good spot to keep him once we get settled in if this, if this COVID keeps up. And I think it will for a while here because uh, the rollout's not going as quick, uh, only here, but for every place else as well. I'll stick my peek out over here. And they have to finish the, the, the wall guys now have to finish the top section, but they also have to uh, finish that back uh, concrete hollow block where the guys are snatching the. Uh, Snatching some fruit from the uh, <laughs> the trees over there next door. I think those are mango trees that they're they're stealing some of the fruit from. Really not stealing. It's really the developers' lot, so <laughs> the fruit's gonna go go to waste anyway. So it's good to see somebody use it. We're gonna head upstairs now. And you can see, this is our choice of tile that we used up here. And one of the things that, that was uh, pretty impressive was before they did this, uh, the center section, they laid a, uh, actually laid a, a level from room to room and it was dead on. That bubble was on from, from this room to this room here. It showed that they were exactly dead on and there's really no way to match up. I feel a little bit of shrinking, so let me jump back here. There's really no way to to uh, to match up the tile. Anyway, the the type of tile that we have here with uh, you've got four rooms that this is coming out on. So we chose to lay this diagonally, and it doesn't really give it a good representation of what it's going to look like now because um, everything's not going to be finished. They still got to leave room to run conduit. Um, for the electrical and RJ 45s around the around the outside of the house, and they bury that underneath the uh, the dry pack um, that goes along the walls there, and, and get to the RJ 45 cables as well. But it gives you a, it gives you a rough idea of the size of the rooms and what we've put down, and you can see it hasn't brought it to a stop because there's a lot of stuff that goes on, especially toward your finish piece at the end, but there's still a lot more work, a lot more work than I thought was involved in building a house because out here stuff is really done with the, available, the availability of the materials that you have and your budget. It's not like the states where you go over there and most of the tracks, everything I've bought in the past either been used or even the last house that I bought in Arizona was new, first one I'd ever lived into a new house and they're already completed. Basically they're just turnkey homes, you walk through, you do your inspection and uh, after your inspection, they hand you the keys and you do your financial thing. Well, you do your financial thing before that. Everyone, they won't even let you get close to it, but it's a lot different than uh, when everything you choose here, like right here, this is the, one of the back walls that uh, we wanted to use the stone cladding on, along with the uh, cladding on the exterior of the lanai here and some decorative uh, wrought iron on the lanai area as well. It gives you an idea of what you have to to work with. But like I said, that stone cladding was expensive. At least the natural stone is. They've got that synthetic material that we're leaning toward. Let me see if I can see this. One of the workers there is snoozed out. I don't want to bother him there on their lunch break. It gets you a view of our of what we see from bedroom I'll stay out of that master bath they're putting uh, sealant that greenish material here is the weather proofing for the, uh, the CR and I don't want to go any further here try to get around it because this stuff has just been put down in fact, they were doing it this morning, and I'm trying to get over to the the back area, but it's it's pretty difficult with all the stuff here. 
and the string lines. And here's our lanitile. I mean, like I said, it's a very bad example of what the tile is going to look like because it's so dirty, so dirty. I wonder why they changed the, the, the style, or I should say the, the diagonal look to it instead of the square pieces. Builder just left, and I didn't, I didn't see that. So, behind us is a sh actually a sugarcane field, and there's, no, there's nothing out there now, but I've flown my drone over there to check out what's going on. So there's, see when they had those, all the shirt cane that was up. And you can see next to the green box there, there's actually a machine here that, that uh, they use to heat the PVC up to, uh, that binds the two pieces of PVC together, where in the States we use a, a glue type. Um, it's pretty trick to watch these guys work. It's a little different, same process, same results, but uh, one's glue and one melts it on there. Not sure which one works better, but uh, gets a job done. And you can also see the uh, the color of the of the tile that's going in here into the into the Jack and Jill uh, CR. That's what they call them here. Also, the uh, the plumbing that we're going to use for the uh, showers. I chose to go with the exterior ones that attach. I like the ones that were mounted. Uh, that were I like the looks of the ones that were internal, but the selection of them was was quite a bit. Uh, less and they were almost double the price so again trying to stay within our budget um, had to scale back uh, our needs versus our wants and that's something I always hear Ainsley's, Ainsley say so I'm copying his phrase there there's a lot of things I want but uh, you could go crazy on a build out here but it, it just gets to a point where you, you can't you won't be able to afford to live in your house so let's head on downstairs Everybody's crashed out for lunchtime here. That's what they do. They usually they grab a quick bite and then they usually take a quick power nap and they're back into what's going on. There's uh there's the local cat that the neighborhood's kinda of, or he's kinda of made himself at home here. He's our unofficial guest. Hello, buddy. Now, my wife really likes. We we'll probably end up at our house, but it's up to Ainsley and and the wife here. If you guys know, I want you guys to check this out. And if you guys have any suggestions, he had algae in his filters, and we don't know if it's because they're exposed to sunlight, and or if it's just maybe the system hasn't been been operating he just turned it on and they're he's obviously they're not they're not living in the house yet so they're not getting the flow that you would through through a normal one and there's no filters in it now but the, they had started to get uh, the algae into it it's at first into the into the first canister here so I'm curious and so is he we're trying to figure out if it's from lack of use or sunlight or something that that uh, that we're doing wrong so we're trying to figure out Excuse the mess with the clothes and stuff, but you can see the, the setup for his his reserve tank is, and the water pump that goes upstairs and the system that's uh, plumbed off here. So, got to get away from that uh, music because YouTube's copyright infringements are really strict. So let me try to get away from all that, finish up our our talk. Hey folks, I just wanted to say thanks. I appreciate the support. But like I said, with the lockdown, it's not the action that we wanted to see, but we're hoping that uh, we're gonna get some new, get the roofers back out here either tomorrow or replacement roofers to finish up the structures that we got going on here. And uh, the wall guys and the exterior house painters were supposed to be out here as well. So 
want you guys to uh, all stay safe and uh, and take care and I hope that uh, vaccine for those of you who choose to take it stays uh, stays fluent and you guys still get an opportunity to get that here in the states so God bless and we'll talk to you later bye bye